foaming at the mouth, suffering convulsions, being carried in the arms of desperate parents. We saw rows of lifeless bodies, some still in diapers, some with visible scars of a chemical weapons attack. Look at those pictures. Making her point, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. tells the Security Council she believes the Syrian regime is to blame for Tuesday's suspected chemical weapons attack in Khan Sheikhoun. But one of Assad's representatives denies that's the case. Syria reaffirms that the Syrian Arab army does not have any form or type of chemical weapons. We have never used them, and we will never use them. The regime said it handed over the last of its declared chemical weapons to the UN in June 2014. But in November last year, the head of the chemical weapons watchdog told TRT World he still had concerns. Our inspectors uh, have visited some sites, took samples. Uh, they found some uh, traces of uh, certain chemicals uh, which were not declared at all by the uh, Syrian authorities. Russia says the rebels fighting Assad's regime possess chemical weapons, which were hit by military jets. The Syrian aviation launched a strike on a large terrorist ammunition depot and a concentration of military hardware on the eastern outskirts of the town of Khan Sheikhoun. On the territory of this depot were workshops, which produced chemical warfare munitions. The rebels have denied that allegation, and the UK says it believes them. We have seen nothing to suggest that any non-state actors in Syria have the sort of chemical weapons that would be consistent with the symptoms that we saw yesterday. The UN says if confirmed, Tuesday's bloodshed will be the worst chemical weapons attack in Syria in more than three years. While it remains unclear who is responsible for what happened, there's no disputing that six years after the civil war began, civilians in Syria are still paying with their lives. Oliver Whitfield-Mirchich, TRT World.